Alright, in a previous video, uh, we looked at how to count up to 100. We should probably learn uh, how to keep going. So, uh, 100 is 100. Uh, you don't say 100, you just say 100, 100. And then it's 200, 300. There's a phonetic change there, the sound changes. 200, 300. 400, 500, 600, Okay, again another change. 600, 700, 800, 900. We don't say 900, we say 100, uh, which is 1,000. And uh, once we get up to 1,000, it's actually quite useful because um, we can talk about money. 100 yen, that's 1,000 yen. And then we can keep going, we can count more money. Uh, 2000, let's go this way, 2000, 3000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000, 9000, and then the next one is 1000, which is, again, very useful for counting money. This is an Ichiman note, and um, it's very useful to <laughs> be able to count money um, in man. Even when you, <coughs> excuse me, even when you're talking in English, I would usually say, "Oh, that costs three man." Um, it's just so much easier than counting all of the zeros. Um, and so it's Ichiman. Now you do actually say Ichiman, one man. Okay, uh, Ichiman, ni man, san man, yon man, go man, doku man. Nana man, hachi man, kyu man, ju man. No, there are no phonetic changes in uh, the ma when you're counting mans. When you're counting men? When you're counting mans. So uh, it's actually easier to do. Uh, but again, those phonetic changes, just follow the native speakers. You'll actually very soon uh, absorb them quite naturally. They're not something you need to concentrate on too hard. Just note how people are saying it and copy them. All right. Thanks for watching. Gambatene.